so uh, again uh, hello to all audience it was a uh, very pleasure to be with you i would today talk a little bit uh, about the ISTQB. And I know ISTQB is a huge topic and we can discuss, so we can spend whole day discussing about this. But I, my goal is just to um, show you ISTQB a little bit from inside and from the different angle. So let's start again with the goal. So for today talk, instead, instead of the agenda, uh, I sharing, you know, with my honesty, the what I have in my list of goals to share with you and uh, if at least one of them will be you know delivered uh, according to you after my my talk then i will be happy so first of all i would like to present a new is 2 qb website uh, which is uh, my, my and my team a great success but this is the subject of this presentation so uh, uh, more than this uh, later uh, like uh, next uh, my goal is that i would like to make uh, and the ISTP closer to community. This is the, the my manifesto when I step into to being the uh, chair of the marketing working group. I would like to that uh, the ISTPB for the regular tester was not so much uh, like you know the group of the people somewhere there in the world doing something very complex and without uh, access for for any of them. So you already have today the president of the ISTQB, now you have me. So you see that we are very open and we would like to share our ideas and uh, be, be challenged in, in fact uh, by, by the, your communities. Uh, I, will talk in the, I will be talking about the uh, project. So of course, some spicy disclose from, from the project because uh, if you think that the delivering the new uh, website, for any organization, it's easy, and the organization which is uh, combined from the tester, it's uh, it's even <laughs> easier. And of course, uh, if uh, none of this was uh, something that might be interesting to you, so for sure I will share on my user story, which hopefully will be useful to to any of you, and uh, in uh, your organization there will be ideas like, yeah, let's replace our website because I don't like it anymore, you will be now, you know, full knowledge about how to start, where to start and uh, what sh should be done. Okay, S starting our user story. So starting from the end, how it's everything begin. So on the lovely day, we all agree that our website is not uh, good enough, looks uh, kind of creepy, if not saying too old. Of course, it's hard to maintain. Maintain it's not supporting mobile too good. So, in fact, at all, and forget about accessibility. And this was the time that there was opportunity to become a chair of the marketing in ASTQB. And this was one point of my manifesto. If you choose me, then I will fight for the you know for the new website for our lovely organization. And I thought in that moment, that is a great idea. So as you see, I, I was those, uh, those guy with the, you know, a blue suit that pick me, pick me, I will do it. Yeah, later, uh, I've got all, the, of course, I've been elected and uh, uh, I've got all the details and it started to be more and more obvious that hmm, this project is already started and we are, we, we are in the middle. And uh, as usually being in the middle, it's not the best position. So that time, it was a hard decision time because uh, we already have a vendor, we already have some kind of communication. We were after a RFP process, we have some budget, we have some uh, you know, mocks, some work was has been delivered, but this was totally not my context, not my idea of the new website. So probably in your organization, in your you know life, you would end up with the same situation that even either you're replacing somebody or you're supporting or simply this is the you know the for whole organization, this is the customer that uh, is staying with us by a long time, but you are stepping into a new position and then you have to face with a new reality. And this was my situation. I'm used kind of wolf, and this is hard decision. 
uh, what to do, what to, uh, what to start, where to start, uh, whether we should uh, say, okay, this is not my concept, or should I say, it? okay, let's do it, let's swim with the, with the river. It was not so easy. So at first, uh, we have done, done some step back and uh, ask the question, for example, again, about the goal, because my goal when I stepped in was totally different than the people who already started this project. Then I start starting about the, some kind of uh, project uh, backlog. So for example, whether the stakeholders has been identified, who are there, what their roles, what they, uh, what they need to uh, from this project. Of course, budgeting, which is critical and including uh, STKB is that we have the fixed uh, budget and uh, it's, uh, we need to fit with this. So this is not like I can spend any money and in your organization, I'm for sure the same. And uh, how compress uh, 50,000 pages? So yeah, our old page was uh, a little bit complex and uh, the, my, my, my first uh, action that I started uh, I figured out, okay, let's do a whole website offline and uh, then work with them. Probably will be some grouping, some, some, some gathering uh, by the areas, and then we you know, propose some kind of new map of the website. When I run some kind of spider tool that is collecting the, the whole websites, I stopped him when he reached to 15,000 pages and I figured out, no, this is not the good idea. This is the website that is to be lived by the so much years, so many years. Uh, it's almost starting from the very, very beginning. And uh, the whole concept, all the ideas, so all evaluation that was done by, by those time was, was there, was still visible there. It was either sometimes naming, it was even sometimes, you know, some kind of Mm, dependency to the uh, to the pro to the project the product so it was challenging uh, also how to compress what kind of uh, amount of the pages mm, if you figure out uh, for example uh, because we are talking uh, as a tester if you figure out the method how to compress 50,000 test cases by for example 1,000 and still have the same coverage I'm happy to talk with you and to be teach by you because this is not a trivial task. There is always some kind of trade-off and there is always something that you have to take a risk and uh, resign from this validation. But in the same time, uh, it was a situation that I have collected a really awesome team. I have really nice people who would like to contribute. We all have the, the same goal that, yeah, let's start doing it. It's not, it definitely won't be easy. It's a hard, but let's do it. Okay, then we started doing. Yes, and we're doing and doing and doing, and it looks exactly like this. Right? I hopefully you're enjoying this, this video. So we started a really, really hard time. So again, identification of the roles, who for who we're doing, what, the, what are those people doing on our website? Uh, of course, the first question was, where are the data, how we can find out who and uh, what for it's coming to us. And in this, this, this time, we all need to be an expert in the Google Analytics since our previous website was connected with the service. So we collecting an uh, enormous uh, uh, amount of the data and process this. Mm, of course, uh, trying to get and, uh, and process this, this knowledge, we also uh, end up with decision, okay, uh, we are testing, we are you know, either write automation, we can you know, play with everything, but I guess it's not enough skills in our team. So we extend the team. So for example, uh, we use our organization and probably this is something that you can use in your organization as well. So for sure, uh, if you have um, not small organization, you have some teams and uh, if you go straight to your boss and say, I need this and this person in my team, probably the answer will be no, no way. He's uh, already involved you know, she, uh, in different project. But if you ask those people for, you know, 
five, 10 minutes discussion next to the coffee machine and uh, use their you know, knowledge to transfer to your project. This is something, and this is, this is working, usually, usually working. And also this is something that worked for us. Okay, so if we even build the, whole, the, the good team, we started, we have some kind of plan, what to do. And then was, then was yet another usually issue like external team. So it's obvious that uh, you know we are communicating the best way until the the border of our company and we have the, if we have the other company on the other edge then we can blame them and we are happy. Of course, they're doing exactly the same. So this project was exactly as on an, any other project. So the, uh, we were different understanding of everything or almost everything. One of the situations that surprised me a lot it was that. Mm, we have discussed about the, the UX role. Uh, we all know that uh, UX designers are, you know, critical resources, especially when in the project like the website, all those stuff. But nobody asked the vendor what mean the UX for them, what kind of activities, what kind of role it is. And my, my understanding was, was definitely totally different because I expecting from the UX person that they would, that uh, we deliver, for example, some kind of roles and they, those roles will be, you know, then we find the people and there will be, you know, plenty of interviews with those people. And there was some, you know, bigger picture has, will be built and will be transferred to, to, to us. And then we will consume, make decision, let's do it this, this and fine, we are happy. Of course, our vendor perspective was okay. We have great uh, graphic designer. We have the person who knows a lot of the websites, but nobody asked us about the interviews. What are you talking about? So it was, you know, a little misconception what are we doing and what we're trying to achieve and where we are going. The same with the process. And this is something that uh, I've learned a lot that uh, even that we all or most of our companies are working the agile uh, it's worth to spend a little bit of time and discuss what's been agile in one organization to the other organization uh, there was interesting question on the, the very beginning of this conference uh, about uh, agile and uh, and the managers but yeah this is it's uh, sometimes sad but it's true that doing interaction it doesn't mean the agile. And if we are used to some kind of ceremonies like demo, we should we supposed to not to be afraid to ask, especially about something so that we used to, and uh, not uh, uh, I don't know not implement something which is not uh, in our DNA. It's not our identity because and eventually we will end up with some crazy hybrid process which either our team or either the external team it's not feeling comfortable with this so this is, was a hard time for us what <laughs> in that time it doesn't stop us and we push further uh, in the the expectation from us of course was uh, you should proceed so we proceed and eventually we figure out some kind of model which looks more or less like this at first, yeah, looks easy what you are complaining about. Well, this is the first stage. The eventual picture looks more or less like this. So I know it's totally not readable because it's supposed to be not readable. I just want to present you the perspective that we started with 50,000 K pages, then we reduce to some concept and then we build some kind of map. And this was reached by the 20 something meetings by the big group with different stakeholders. And it was take a lot, a lot of time. Eventually we figure out, okay, it's time to speed up. Uh, I hope you enjoying those snail as, as I did when I show it. So um, our concept of how to speeding up was that uh, uh, this is something uh, like trade-off and uh, what we learned that we work really hard, but the organization was not totally not aware what we are doing because they haven't uh, been able to see any artifact, anything like this. So at first 
we start to introducing the organization because even big enough team like I managed to build was not covering everything and there was different perspective. So we started to even inside our organization to challenging the other uh, our groups or whole organization about different concepts. Later, I will show you one of them. Uh, glossary. So uh, when, as soon as we learn that our vendor is not, you know, uh, it's not talking to in the same language I like we talking, I thought, and it's, I'm not talking about the English. And then we end up with discussion. Okay, let's then discuss what does it mean for you, for us, and let's meet in the middle. So it was done. Budget. <laughs> this is, of course, that you have probably exactly the same situation when you're starting some, some project and you have the very important question what is the budget? And you've got some budget, sometimes much closer than you estimated, less, some, sometimes less. But in the middle, in the project, and please remember that I start, in fact, in the middle, coming back with the same question, hmm, what kind of answer we can get? Forget about extending the budget. You have to fit. Okay, so yet another challenge. Let's take it. Let's do it. Uh, so uh, we get confirmation that forget about the extending budget, uh, but in the same time, since we started to have a better visibility, uh, we also have the good connection with the stakeholders, which is outside of our team. And uh, we're trying to communicate with each other because, for example, some of the projects, the project, project ideas, concepts that I stick with deliver, delivering is not uh, in the area of one working group. Sometimes they, the, the, the concept is crossing through the other groups. So instead of having each website for each new group, we can understand this for each new site for each organization or you know, each, I don't know, silos or whatever organization is, your organization is built. And uh, this is something that we need to figure out how to do it and address by the single page. And eventually it succeeds, of course, but it was not, not the easy. And having, having this type of the feedback, we also starting uh, the reducing the size of the team because as usually when we pass through, let's say the concept phase, so, uh, trying to figure out the, the biggest uh, items. With the small decision, we don't need so many voices. So from the 20 something uh, people in the group reduced to five, which speed up as well. Uh, of course, organize more, some more time. Uh, you need to also be aware that we are talking about the project, which is uh, very interesting from that perspective that we are voluntary. We are work, working in voluntary time, so it doesn't mean that uh, coming the Monday uh, morning you are starting your project and you will proceed till I don't know afternoon. Then coming back uh, to home and uh, Tuesday the same. This is happening in our spare time, and uh, let's try to imagine how to synchronize the spare time of uh, even the five people which uh, working. You know. In, in different uh, time zone in the different you know geographic locations so eventually we figure out that in order to deliver this sometimes we need to take a vacation and really work which was uh, a boost our project a lot and uh, what else uh, and in the project uh, which is important we of course knew it from the very beginning so it's critical but uh, in the project uh, in the process of the project, we end up situation that, okay, even that we have people who used to deliver some kind of website, web services, uh, web pages, their administrator or DevOps, we still have not enough knowledge about the CEO. And this is also important to ensure in that time of the project. In our case, knowing that budget is fixed, we need to simply sit down and get those knowledge to our heads. So this was very interesting. And of course, for an organization, it could be different uh, and different approaches. This, this is something that worked for us, but also work because uh, the nine point, the nine point, which is also the title of my presentation, is that um, starting a project, I have feeling that because I have so much you know, great people in my organization will manage to, you know, 
clean up the backlog by the last 10 years. And then we will, you know, by the one click, we'll go live with everything new. In the meantime, it looks like, yeah, maybe not in this iteration. So and then uh, we need to face the real reality situation that, okay, not everything, everything needs to be fixed now. And now it's the, it's the keyword. It's not that we are postponing something and uh, we agree to lower, uh, lower quality, but it's something that we need to prioritize. This is yet another important thing that you have to remember that prioritization is the key because uh, if you're trying to reach the, you know, uh, ideal world, it probably will never fly with any project. So this was something which is so so much obvious, but being inside of the project, so sometimes really hard to you know to come to, the, to this conclusion. Uh, one of the things that we make decision to not uh, postponing and uh, definitely needs to go to to live at the, the first iteration was that the, our portfolio, the portfolio which is the in fact, in fact, something like business card for the SDQB, but this is some, the single picture that uh, should be self-descriptive and it should be by the one picture describe everything. And of course, as you see, we started with something which, well, I would not say it's, you know, it's bad. It's not bad, but it was you know, hard, to, hard to understand from time to time. And uh, again, using the feedback of our organization, we have spent a lot of discussions. So we had you know, all our skills. And you see that uh, we even the sent through the organization some kind of survey with only a single question, which option you're choosing in order to end up with that, our new lovely portfolio. And this is, you know, we. Especially if you take a real pure technical person, you can think, hmm, what can be difficult with you know changing one picture to other? This is almost the same. And uh, I need to told you that it's not so easy. We spent, you know, at least five meetings discussing about this, checking the good practice, very validate, checking the, you know, testing those pictures according to different people the people which is inside the organization, outside the people with disabilities. So it was not so trivial, but we have those uh, assure, we have those knowledge that those portfolio will be spread in, you know, in the, all the world. And it needs to be as easy as, as possible, while the sound, the, the portfolio or the, the products, they're already on the market, so we cannot to into with them anything, even we cannot change the name because it will gonna uh, cause confusion. So eventually, uh, we figure out this. Some important digits from 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 the project, and again, I, a little bit fun uh, will be hidden there. So um, when we're going live, there was still twenty tickets in the backlog, which is at first um, not so bad, but the other hand. There was no critical and major defects. So we are fine with uh, going live. The team started 20, from 25 people and eventually we end up with the three people. So we see in the time the, the, the smaller team was enough. Uh, one person was, uh, and probably in organization, you also have that kind of special person who's constantly asking, are we done? Are you done? Are we ready? And we have at least one those person, but eventually it was nice that because at least someone was waiting for your project. And we have, of course, worldwide coverage because as we check, and I will show you later, we have one new person on our website for one minute. So maybe it's not that, I don't know, huge load like on the, let's say, some online shop in the Black Friday. Uh, but still, this is big enough to 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 cut a lot of complaints if somebody is not going uh, well. And what was especially impacting uh, my humble person is that uh, six weeks till end of my cadence, we have made that decision. Okay, now or or never. 
and uh, this is almost end of my cadence. And as you remember in the my manifest on the very beginning is that uh, I would like to change it. So it was for me <laughs> be alive or dead, some kind of approach. So eventually there was that kind of decision. Let's go live. And of course, succeed. Uh, if not, probably I would not get in those privilege to talk to you today. Uh, how it looks like this. Uh, this looks, for example, in, uh, later I will show you more about the website, but from the back end, this is an analytics, and this is yet another factor that I would like to point that uh, even that you think that you have good communication with the internal external team have good enough roles in your team you have collected every every information that is needed to identify stakeholders roles you all know all what they people coming to you and uh, the technology is all also is under control you still might be depends on the uh, third party services in our case our lovely google surprise us because we usually used to use the google analytics in the previous version and now they few days before the releasing they announced okay now is there is new standard and it needs to be implemented so even that you think that everything is under control always something can surprise you and here it's not yet time for the question let me present you our iustqb page okay so our page looks more or less like this so we have some information about welcoming we have information about coverage so as oliver today mentioned about over a million exam we have exact information that million that million we also have the information about the recommended way how to get to uh, and be certified and this is in the four steps like uh, find the certification which you're interested in uh, find the training find the exam and please 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 do not forget to be part of scr scr is a kind of database which all uh is to be exam uh is to get certificate holders can be listed there and this allows our employees to check your certificate whether it's valid or not so this was very important to show in the four simple steps how to get there of course our presentation of the uh, of the portfolio so we see again our foundation which is the basics for everyone we see three streams agile core and the specialist and we see that at the, in the agile we have yet another uh, certificate which is on the foundation level and then we have some stream we have the core which is probably the most known by you but what is better presented is the expert level because expert level always was that uh, for the itp so improving uh, test process it was two exams for the test manager it was three exams but previously it was uh, presented as a single one and it's causing a lot of confusion and we see a very very strong the specialist stream so the stream which it's uh, described as a as a stream for the uh, uh, for the special context for the special industry for the special techniques or devices which is very very important and during doing our analysis we find yet another thing and a big asset which was not presented in our opinion very well because next to that uh, istqb is delivering the body of knowledge so the, in fact uh, better known as a syllabus is delivering also the vocabulary so the glossary and how important glossary is i've learned on my own skin in this project and uh, that's why and not only uh, but this this uh, ensure we know the decision that's why we presented the situation uh, that uh, we sure that uh, we would like to help people to talk to the same language and that's why we put the glossary here so from now you can check in one of the let me click 20 languages any term that you are interested so for example you can type any, any word choose the language 
and you will be redirected to the service, which is built in with the glossary of the ISTQB and old test related uh, terms. Of course, we have some news, but if you're not interested in, in everything and you don't, don't want to roll, just click work with us. And this is the six area, uh, the six areas when we are open for a cooperation. So you can in general can contribute and you can contribute usually by the local member boards or member boards. Uh, if you are on the university ecosystem, we're also inviting you to cooperation. Uh, if you are conferences, you're organizing some great event like, like those who like uh, we are today. There's a community of the conferences. Of course, we have the partner program to the four companies that uh, is delivering the software and uh, they delivering so good quality software because I mean, not only, but uh, between the others, uh, because having the um, certified tester, so those companies uh, are invited to participation. And of course, the ISTQ awards the award, who is according to ISTQ community, the um, person who is doing for testing uh, in general, the most, the, the, the biggest to, to, to spread the knowledge and to share the, the good practice to promote the testing. Uh, can of course go through all of the stuff, but I would like to also show you the, the, the about us, which is a very interesting aspect, because usually, especially when you're going to your boss and asking uh, why I should, uh, oh, I would like to, you know, participate in some training and I, I would like to, you know, get some, some certificate and usually you have, you got the uh, answer, why is TV? So there is a page who is explaining the benefits uh, from different perspective from the professionals, employees and training providers, but also there's uh, uh, information about who we are. So our mission, vision, and it's, uh, our exec and the working groups, and as well, what we do. So again, our code of ethics and all the other stuff. So this is, something which is you know by one click also if you mm, thinking about the coverage so the coverage is presented in that way so nice pictures nice, nice, nice map and for example you can quickly go check the turkish board and click on the more info and we have information about the turkish board and the same with the other other boards on the world some kind of boards for example like chinese or uh, Hungarian board are using some different uh, local names. Uh, so using in those uh, double naming is allowed the CEO to recognize us. Of course, if you're trying to become a training provider or looking for exam, it's here and the certification. So certification. So now you can again be going to one page, let's go to foundation go to the right page about the certain product you have the logo type which is the product you have the overview so in general a few words about the, the product you have for who you have the content either the graphically uh, you have the again business justification why from the business perspective this uh, certificate is important if you uh, looking for the any information on the exam it's co collected here so number of the question points, uh, how much you have to have in order to pass and more info. And if you'd like to download anything by one click uh, for CTFL, it's even in the uh, e-readers uh, format, this is the MOBI format and the PDF. So the, by one click, you're just downloading this and they have all the information in the one place. So I know it's maybe according to you, and not the perfect, but I'm pretty feel confident and success that we managed to replace uh, those uh, those page which was really bad and old, and to reply with something which is much more interesting and what is more important, it's much easier to you to get the, the right information that might be interesting to you and much easier to find other com communities or the people or contact with us or your local communities to, to 
spread the testing knowledge even better, the wider. And that's from me, and now I'm waiting for questions. Or not. So usually in the same way, like Helena, uh, as uh, previous speakers uh, was explaining, uh, if you have questions, find me from the LinkedIn or other channels, and it will be pleasure to answer for your questions if I manage. Thank you so much, Sebastian. This it was a great walkthrough in the ISTQB, uh, both the top side and the history. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, too. Thanks a lot, Sebastian. Oh, no. It was it ah. was really helpful to get the full comprehension of uh, the biggest uh, uh, non-profit organization, the ISTQB, what, what you are doing and how you are supporting us to grow the community. So thanks a lot for joining us and tell all of the information about it. Sure. There is a small question, a brief question here. If it matters to take the exam in Turkey, or English? Uh, no, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because uh, this is one of the most often, you know, question that comes to us and I recommend to go to help and even the type the question like you're doing the Google, uh, because the, the usually we got the questions like, uh, is there an expiration to my certificate? And now there's nothing like expiration for the ISTQB certificate. And the same, it doesn't matter in which language you're passing, you still get the same certificate. So don't need to be worried. What it's my Polish experience is that companies uh, who has the customer outside of the Poland rather prefer that you passing the, the exam in English, but this is my Polish experience. I don't know the Tur Turkish or the market, so probably you're the bigger than Poland. So. Yes, and uh, also there is a, a buffer of uh, 15 minutes if you give it in another language than your native. So somebody can uh, have 15 minutes more if it gives it, if it's exactly. Like, um, and this we try to show on the website if you're going on the exam length and mm -hmm. uh, if you're passing in your native language, you have the, the basic information, but you're passing in your known non-native language, you have extra time. The same if you have some disabilities, I don't know, there are different situations and if you, there is some problems, usually you can step into your exam provider and ask because they have made some option to you as well okay thank you so much thanks a lot sebastian thank you. for your time bye bye and see you soon see bye you bye. soon you in so life <laughs>